So have you ever been in a conflict with a loved one or a friend of yours? Chances are with these four ideas I'm gonna share with you today, you'll be able to handle conflict much, much better. And I must say that these four ideas I'm gonna teach you, they're based on um, ideas I learned from going to High Performance Academy uh, in San Diego, which was a life-changing event. So hopefully with these four ideas, you'll be able to handle conflict in a new way that's gonna change your relationship gain. first idea to ask yourself is, why are you even having this conflict? I mean, initially, you're just asking them, you have, you have an actual goal to go see that person. So when you're in a conflict, ask yourself, why am I even in a conflict with this person? Uh, this is gonna help you change the mindset and change your tone of voice and calm yourself down um, as the other person is gonna notice that the, conf the conflict is gonna dial down a little bit more. So turning into idea number two is to describe the observable. So describe what's going on right now. Why are we having a conflict? What, what, what's the turning point in this conflict that's gonna help us identify what we actually need to be doing here? So describe what's actually happening within this conflict to the person, also in a calm tone, because when you're raising your tone, the person's gonna feel like you're dominating the conversation. So they're gonna raise their tone, you're gonna raise your tone, and then it's just gonna turn into an even bigger conflict. So idea number three is to share what you're feeling. It's important that the other person knows in the conversation and in the conflict what you're feeling. Um, feelings are extremely important in human relationships, so Ex explain to them how you're feeling and then how it's making you sad because if you just say you're sad, they won't really care. Explain why you're sad and what is it making that you're sad. Finally, the fourth idea is to request the change and give them a reason to you know, stopping this conflict. So oftentimes we're in a conflict with our friend because they're not, they didn't complete this project that we're doing with them. And now, the way you can do this is either ask them in a mean, controlling tone or ask them in a good way and add a reason to it. So say, um, if you complete this project, maybe we'll be able to hang out on the weekend. Automatically, you're giving them a reason to do it, not just to get the actual assignment done and get a grade in, but to have some fun on the weekend. Now, hopefully you've got the ideas to stop conflict. Conflict is one of those things in life that destroys our relationships. I mean, in, there are a couple of things that deal with our longevity in life, one of them being our quality of relationships, and conflict sometimes gets in the way. So now you can start living life to the fullest with those that you love and those that you enjoy being with the most. Thank you a lot, and I'll see you next time.